Today, we're gonna make a super simple and delicious creamy mushroom fettuccine, and it's actually vegetarian. Probably the only vegetarian dish I'll ever make. It's gonna be great. It's really super simple, just five ingredients. You got your mushroom, of course, garlic, butter, and cheese. So you melt the butter around the pan, and you put in your garlic. See, with Italian cooking, a lot of European cooking, you don't wanna burn the garlic, right? Unlike Thai stuff where you have the crispy garlic crisp and everything. You wanna make sure the garlic is just cooked through really nice and slow. So you cook that down, melt the butter, about, I don't know, a minute or two. Of course, that's a cut frame right there. And now you put in your mushroom. This is just regular button mushrooms. The cheapest, most abundant mushrooms out there. You can get fancy and use portobello, uh, whatever. You know, those fancy Italian ones, I don't even know what it's called. That's kind of long with the stem that's very expensive. Hey man, you got the money, go spend it. I just want to make a regular ass mushroom pasta. So you let the mushroom saute. You see now, some, some of the bits already touched the butter and it's getting a little golden color in it and soaking in the butter and the garlic, that's what you want. Give it a couple of nice tosses, you know. I got my salt mill. You, you, I, I usually salt my stuff a little bit at a time. So when the mushroom goes in, I salt it a little bit. And then later on when the cheese and the cream goes in, I salt it a little more. And now you add the heavy whipping cream, okay? Uh, or really, you can uh, use Campbell's mushroom soup if you want. Just like a cream base. Uh, I like this cream thing. You can control how heavy or not it is. You can really just use whole milk also. But the whipping cream just gives it that full body flavor. I guess I didn't include the whipping cream in the ingredients earlier on. So I lied. So maybe there's six ingredients instead of five. So now you let the mushroom and the garlic and the butter just soak inside of that cream so they can all bind together. All the flavor are marrying each other. The mushrooms are getting softer and softer. And then just sit and wait. It already smells so good. There's nothing that smells better than just butter, garlic, and cream, right? And it's, just, it's, it's like really the bread and butter of a lot of these white pasta cream-based dishes. So it's been about a minute, and now I got some shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm not gonna use all of it because I'm gonna save some of the rest for topping us later. And just to get fancy, I mix in some Tillamook sharp cheddar because I just have it. So this will add a little more orangey color, add some more sharpness to the cheese. You know how a lot of those Alfredo pasta sauce says three cheese, four cheese Alfredo. This is what it is, and you can just make it at home. Any cheese you have, if you got some goat cheese, some brie cheese, throw it in, man. You know, mix in the flavor, make it a little more complex, and it's fancier, and the color gets richer. You see that? Now the cheddar is easily just melting. Literally, this is just Tillamook like deli cheese from the Ralph's cheese section, right next to the Philadelphia cheese and all that. Nothing fancy, man. You see now the sauce, the consistency. See, I'm testing consistency here. Bam! That's a nice saucy consistency. It's not just liquidy. All the cheese, the butter is acting as a thickening agent to just the heavy whipping cream. So now you let that sit. Let the mushroom cook down even more. Salt it, like I promised, just a little bit. Pepper it, just a little bit. The pepper adds such a nice color in it too. Contrast, baby. Black and white, nothing better. My water is boiling, and now I'm gonna throw in my fresh pasta. I bought these as sprouts. It was like $5.99, super cheap. You can find it at a local market. You can, of course, use uh, dry pasta as well, but fresh pasta cooks in under two minutes. And now I found some basil. This step is highly optional. I just happened, I think this is not even Italian basil. I found some Thai basil laying around. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna use it. Add a little bit of color and add that sweetness to balance out the sharpness of the cheese. So once again, you're just layering your flavor, but you don't need it. You really don't need it. This is more a garnish and just a little bit of flavor to add on. You can, of course, use a little bit of parsley, but honestly, if it's just a full white sauce with just mushroom, cream, and cheese, you're gonna have yourself a winner. You don't need to get fancy. You see how nice the color is in the sauce? That's just that little bit of cheddar cheese. And the Parmesan, it's just for flavor. And as you cook it, this is another two minutes. The color gets even richer. And now the pasta is done. I don't like to strain my pasta out because I want to keep some of that pasta water here. 
I'm making dinner for one because uh, I'm just a loner during this quarantine, and uh, I don't have a spouse or anything to share my joy of cooking with. So you know, I'm just making this portion for one. But of course, you know, just double everything if you have someone that loves you in your life. In my case, sadly, there isn't yet. So <laughs> it's very sad, but it's okay. I'm doing it for the world to see. I'm sharing my joy with you guys. I don't need a real person. All right, a little more pepper. You see, this is already a dish. The color's coming together. But you want the pasta to cook. Now I turn the heat on high, so the pasta cooks in that sauce. Once again, marrying. Oh, God, everything is reminding me that I'm just single. Yeah, marrying the flavor and the sauce with the pasta. <laughs> I'm fine, guys. I'm totally fine. This is such a nice and easy dish. Totally vegetarian, not vegan. You see, you give it a toss, and now all oh, the pasta is touching the sauce. Every strand of that pasta is sauced up and ready to go. Uh, I love it. And there's no science to it. It's not like, oh, cook the pasta for two minutes with the sauce. No, no, you just want to make sure it's the right consistency. Just eyeball it. Use your eyeballs. You don't want it to be a watery mess. And you don't want it to be a thick, chunky piece of mess either. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah, good job, Jimmy. You did a good job here. So you put the mushroom on there. If you got some more basil, put one more leaf on that as garnish. Oh, plate it real nice. Come on now. I love eating pasta in these kind of like shallow bowls. That's the spork version of a bowl and a plate. It's not really a plate, not really a bowl. It's more like a... Pole. Yeah, that would be a pole. A little parmesan that we saved up earlier. Oh, you see, this is nice. And it's just regular button mushrooms. Nothing fancy about it. All of these stuff, you don't have to go to an Italian mart for. And now, of course, it's time for the taste test. Go ahead and enjoy it, Jimmy. A little bit of basil. The noodles perfectly cheesy. Grab a couple of these mushrooms. Mm. Mm. It's perfect. You think the cream is so simple, but you're adding those two cheese in there. Or you can, of course, add whatever cheese you have. It just adds so much, you know, salty, cheesy, umami flavor. And the mushrooms, we cooked it so it's not too cooked down, but it's perfectly soft and it soaked up all the juices. Mmm. Really? There's what, less than four ingredients in this? Basil is highly optional, but it adds a sweetness, just a little dimension. This is so easy and good, and it's, uh, I guess, vegetarian, but uh, not quite vegan. Mmm. Well, I gotta say, these fresh, um, I guess this is fettuccine, linguine, whatever, parpadel. Something about fresh pasta is so eggy and soft and kind of got that good bounce to it. It's not as al dente as like a box of dry pasta, but it soaks up the flavor so well. I love these kind of flat ones. You see how it grabs the sauce? That's amazing. We did it, guys. We definitely did it.